Hi guys, this is Dave Bennett. It is September 19th, 2015, and I'm going to talk about the ALC tool version 2.0. And real quick, the ALC tool is called Amazing List Cleaner because it started off as a list cleaner tool uh, used for bulk emailing. So the idea originally was um, we needed a, a cleaner to clean our list so we didn't email the same people twice. Uh, well, as we got into it, of course, we developed contact form submission and actually that's preferred to emailing anyway uh, you can if you email you could be spamming if your uh, your email could be blocked if you're filling out contact forms your email will not get blocked even if you use your real email address it's not spamming so it morphed into that uh, the amazing let's say lead contactor tool <laughs> So it's called the ALC, but make no mistake, it's not a list cleaner. It is a contact form submission tool. That's the main purpose of that software. And I'm going to walk through the version 2.0, which we're just releasing now. It's two parts. There's part that is a toolbar that operates on your desktop. And so if I were to open a file, because when you install it, um, you're going to see this. Okay, so you'll buy it, you'll download it, you'll install it according to the README instructions. It's really easy to install and get this running. It does require Excel, not OpenOffice, Excel, 2010 or better. Okay, and so once you have Excel, and you can go to Microsoft.com and look up their Office packages and rent Office for like $9.99 a month, $9.95 a month. Um, commitment free even, I do believe. And that'll install on up to five different computers. Uh, so it's a really, really good deal. Okay. And Office includes Excel. All right. So when you install it, then you can put a shortcut on your desktop that'll look like this. TCOB, taking care of business. <laughs> That's what we just called that. So there's our taking care of business shortcut. Goes into our taking care of business folder. And there's one Excel file in here called the ALC version 2.0. So I'm going to start off on my computer getting the leads I want. Then I'm going to upload them to where the panel is installed on my website, okay, and let it do my messaging for me. So I'm going to walk you through that process, okay, because it's a very cool process. All right, so we're going to start off here. Now I'm going to open this thing. Okay, first thing you're going to see is a city-state list. It's optional. You don't have to use this tab which allows you to geo um, uh, well geolocate your keywords right for local searches all right a lot of what we do is based on local searches but for those of you who do things that are not based on local searches you'll just step to the second tab and paste in your keyword list right here okay that would be the idea now here this is so you can take your keyword list let's say plumber I mean, it could be anything and literally match it with every city you want. OK, now this is a list. It's a very, very long list. It's got thirty two thousand eight hundred cities in the US. OK, it's literally that and it's alphabetized. All right. Here would be the problem. If everyone were to start the same way, then they'd all be if if 100 of you got going with the tool next week and 20 of you decide that you're going to do plumber. Then what? 20 of you are going to start with Abbeville, Alabama, then Abbeville, Georgia, Abbeville, Louisiana. That's not a good idea, right? So what we build into our list cleaner, when you install it, you'll have this tab, again, called list cleaner because it started off that way. Okay, and there's a button here called random sort. And what that will do is randomly sort all of these entries in column A. And that's great because as far as we're concerned, whatever we're selling, uh, we're selling to people who have money and big websites or people who don't have much money and they have small websites. We're going to be able to sort of isolate people by their power, uh, which is going to be a really good way to isolate them. Uh, so it doesn't really matter to us what city they come from, unless, of course, it does. You can always um, do your own city combinations. You could even do it in here. You can put in your cities and put in your keywords. Okay, just letting you know. All right, so here we go. Uh, what we built to make sure that everyone does not start in the same place, because then you'd have 20 people all going after the same guys at the same time. That's not very smart. They're going to get spammed like crazy, and they're not going to pay any attention to your message. Spam. I'm using the term loosely. They're going to get hit with a lot of messages through their contact forms <laughs> from lots of people. So what we're going to do is hit random sort. 
and that will sort all those column A entries randomly, like I said. And so see, in this case, Elk River, Idaho, then Oxford, Georgia, New Portland, Maine. Okay, what are the chances if I hit it again, or anyone else does, that we're still going to see Elk River, Oxford, and New Portland, Maine, etc.? Like none. Okay, it's just too hard. You know, that's three out of thirty-two thousand eight hundred or whatever. Nope, New Lime, Cameron Ship, Spring Hill, Tennessee. They're all different. Okay, that's the first step is simply open the file and hit the random sort button. That was it. That was step one. Step two, put in the keyword you want and then with the little black square here, change to your little black uh, crosshairs and drag it down. 15. Okay, sort of a magic number to 15. We're going to do 15 at a time. So we're going to do our first 15 and then later we're just going to go and drag this down for like 15 more. Okay, so down to 30 to get us down to 15 more. Okay, and I did drag it down now, but I only want to do 15 at a time. So let me pull it back up to the first 15 just so I can keep track of where I am. All right, now that I did, here's what I want to do. I want to copy this whole array, right? So just put your mouse on one end of it, hold it down, and completely cover the rest of it. There you go. I've got that whole array. I'm going to copy it, okay? And go to the next tab, and that's what I'm going to work on first, okay? So this next tab is just simply to isolate what you're working on first. Now, just so you know, I'm going to jump ahead. Okay, I'm going to jump ahead. When I go to do more, okay, when I'm done with that first batch and I go to do more, I just drag this down, say to 30. 15 is what we recommend to do at a time, and I go from 16, you know, to 30. So I'll just do that. Copy. And then when I come back here, I'm going to overwrite these 15. So I'm going to start there and paste so it overwrites those 15 get it so you should only have 15 ever on this tab now you could do more maybe we'll find that 20 works well uh, for most people we just recommend 15 it's a good conservative number for what it is we're doing all right so let me just do it one last time so it's really obvious uh, first let me clear this list um, clear contents now let me take the first 15 that way I can keep track of where I am like I say I can see where I left off each time Okay, paste, boom. And I'm just doing 15 at a time. Okay, you might hit save just to save. Now, that's the next tab we're on. We already did random sort on the first tab, right? Random sort belongs to the first tab. And then we have this create search button, which belongs to the create search tab. So since I pasted this in here, I must now do something that would be create search. And it's done. It created a file, a batch file, which it says it's saved. I'm going to hit OK. It says go get website. So I'm going to minimize this. And here I have my batch file. All I'm going to do is run it. I'm going to click it once to run it. Okay. And here we go. It's going to open all 15 of those keywords on Google right next to each other. Okay. So we've got 15 pages being opened all at the same time. All right. And it's going to load them. I'm going to wait for them to load before I do anything. I want to make sure I see all of them loaded. I can double check to make sure it's not giving me image verification checks. That's the reason for doing 15 at a time and not like 40. Okay. And 40 might work. <laughs> now, they're all good to go. Okay. If it didn't do it on the last and it didn't do it on the second to last, and it's not going to do it at all. All right. I'm going to right click here. And the way we set this process up, you're probably never going to get an image verification check because we're only doing these pages at once. Now, real quick, did I open just 10 results? No, each page opens 100 results. Look at this, it goes all the way down. So I've got 100 results for each, 100 organic results for each of these keywords going all the way across, okay? Well, that's 15 tabs times 100 results is 1,500 websites I work with at one time. So see, it's a good size batch. It's a useful batch. I'm going to right click anywhere in the wide area and I'm going to hit this link that's called copy all links and then all tabs, all links. Get it? This is something you would install into Firefox as an add-in as part of the process that we're doing. So the instructions tell you how to do it. It's easy. You just have to know which add-on to add. And then in the wide area, again, copy all links, all tabs, all links. And it just did it. So where do you think I'm going to paste that? I'm going to maximize this thing again. 